Uh, while this is still in my mind, real fast, real quick, expeditiously, I have to get this out there. Uh, just forget about how I'm looking. It's cold in a bitch. Don't worry. Houston is cold right now. I want to talk about uh, Elon Musk taking over Twitter. Uh, but uh, mainly, I want to talk about another thing. I'll get into it. You'll see. Uh, just just follow me, okay? Walk with me. So Elon Musk, uh, he went ahead and purchased Twitter.com for $44 billion, and it's been a complete shit show ever since. Websites that's been working for over a decade with no problems, all of a sudden he takes over for three weeks! Three weeks, and the shit is already going down in flames. It's actually quite incredible. It's it's impressive how he's what he's done to ruin the website this quick. Now, I guess it's not that hard, seeing as Twitter is already a, a hellhole, but dog is <laughs> shit is going down fast this is a uh, further proof of a principle i keep trying to tell people man just because somebody is rich and they like elon is the richest man on earth and this shows that even somebody like him he he doesn't have the knowledge to to do what he's trying to do with this hands-on people at that level they aren't the the people executing. They're the idea people. He has ideas and he has capital. The people who's doing the real work, he's paying them to do the to do that, right? So uh, that's a long way to say Elon doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. And all the people that do know how to run a website like Twitter or an app like Twitter, he fired them. He either fired them or they ended up quitting when they found out uh, what he was trying to do. And the real thing I want to go into, I don't even want to really talk that much about Elon. But what I really want to do is talk about uh, one of the things he did, uh, which was he implemented a, a system where you could pay to get verified. If you don't know what verification is, all it means is that if you have a social media uh, account and it's somebody who's actually kind of notable, like a celebrity or a journalist or an activist or some shit, uh, they can verify that account so that we know it's actually them and not like a random person pretending to be them, right? That way, when you see a random page that says, uh, I don't know, random person, uh, Will Smith, and <laughs> it says something like, uh, I'm about to beat the shit out of my wife right now. You don't say, wait a minute, did Will Smith say he about to beat up Jada? It, you, you, it, that won't happen because Will Smith's page is verified. If it ain't got that check next to it, don't believe it. That's kind of the whole point of the verification system, right? One of the things that the brilliant mind uh, <laughs> Elon Musk thought of was making it where you could just pay to get verified, completely defeating the purpose of having verification right and his idea was that being verification is elitist and we need to spread this out to the people and guess what happened once we spread this out to the people a bunch of parody <laughs> and fake accounts ended up getting made and it caused all the confusion we just laid out here and this brilliant mind couldn't think of that uh becoming one of the outcomes even though this is something they had figured out already before he got there. And this is the point that I'm trying to get to. There's a lot of shit in the zeitgeist and the culture and whatever. There's a lot of shit now where everybody is saying, man, we need to question this. We need to uh, figure out why is it this way? What, who, who, you know, we need to start asking questions. And that's not all bad. The problem is now people are asking questions about foundational shit that we already have the answer to I talked about it in the last video where uh niggas is flat earthers now even though we we've, we've had the debate about w whether earth is flat or not thousands of years ago We've already determined why Earth is round. Why are we still asking about why Earth is flat? It's the same thing with a, bu a bunch of other shit, like with free speech. You think they didn't know about uh, all the weird ways that free speech can be used 
uh, negatively to people. You didn't think they had all that shit thought out back then. Like we we we've debated about this already. We've already we've figured a lot of this shit out already. <laughs> Another one is uh, Republicans with the the voting shit, right? They're they're asking questions about why voting because they've been losing a lot of elections lately so now they're trying to say why is the votes counted this way why do we count these votes as uh, accurate how come why are we allowing mail-in votes what what the fuck what why they're they're trying to like re rethink about the the, the system of voting and why it works that way and that would be a valid way to to think of things if this wasn't a debate they had already had <laughs> when they founded the system when they created the the executive and judicial and legislative branches of government and they created all the the mechanisms for democracy in america they had already thought of that like you, you're not you're not asking any brand new groundbreaking questions like this is shit that they had already thought of before you're not as smart as you think you are so that's just that's what annoys me man it's just like because now you have you go down this fractally fucking exponential wormhole when you're dealing with people because now they're questioning the com the total foundation of everything we already understand and believe and i don't know how to take the conversation any further at that point right because if we if we can't just have a base level understanding of reality or come to some agreement about how things work or how things should work then there's no there's no getting through to you and the problem is more and more people are starting to think that way there are more and more people are starting to you know when they're proven wrong about some shit they'll say well how do you know that's correct and we'll say oh well we have studies and facts and statistics and, well how do we know those statistics are valid where did you get those statistics from uh how why do we know that statistics is the right way to come up to conclusions anyway well how did they even gather those statistics? like you keep going down all that shit we will never fucking get anywhere get it 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 makes sense to ask those questions if the topic that we're dealing with is fishy then if if the system that we're dealing with is fishy and it don't look right then is it makes sense to say well uh, that don't sound right why is it like that maybe we should dig a little deeper but that's not what they doing niggas is just they're just uh ask they're asking questions that have already been answered and acting like they're they they're figuring out some new shit and coming up with a new ideology or whatever and and we have to take them serious because the same these people that i'm referring to is the same they're they overlapping with the conspiracy niggas that i was talking about in the last video these conspiracy niggas they can they can weave whatever story they want to weave because reality is fluid when you think that way reality is whatever you want it to be or whatever the story is you're trying to craft it can be that because we we don't agree on foundational concepts you know like electoral colleges like why are we still debating on whether or not we should have an electoral college do do did we forget what the point of the electoral college was we we've had this debate before and when it comes to twitter i have no problem with twitter crashing and burning i'm kind of glad that uh it's on the way i mean uh, i don't think it's gonna completely shut down right twitter's too big for that niggas are still gonna use twitter I'm just enjoying the shit show that is coming from all of this because niggas who use Twitter are terrible. They deserve everything bad that happened to them. And I just like seeing uh, pr pr uh, proof of what I'm saying, you know? I like seeing shit play out like how I've been explaining that shit that plays out. Niggas be acting like I don't know what I'm talking about. And you see it in real life, man. I've been telling y'all, just because somebody is a millionaire or a billionaire or is rich, that the, the like you, you, just because you're smart 
in one area doesn't mean you're smart in every area. And this shows, again, how the people doing the real work are are just being paid by the capitalist, right? It's not that the capitalist is so smart and genius that they came up with this all on their own. They paid the smartest people in the world to put this shit into action. They're the ones who deserve the credit, not Elon. People are talking about uh, Elon Musk like he's some kind of uh, super genius, like he's the real life Tony Stark. He's not. The people at SpaceX who's working for him are the geniuses the people who are coming up with the designs and the builds and the blueprints for the the cars at tesla those are the geniuses he's just a guy telling them what to do and saying if you don't do this in this guy in this time frame you're fired oh and also government grants don't forget government grants so again we we've shown that the the working class the proletariat we're the ones making the world go around. We're, we're, it's us. It's, it's us. The people making uh, all those groundbreaking discoveries and all those groundbreaking uh, inventions for the companies that Elon Musk owns is engineers. They're the ones who deserve the credit. They are the geniuses. They're the forward thinkers. Elon just has the money to pay them to do that. So that's all I have to say about that. You know, you, you see, when when the peop, when Twitter is left alone with the people who know how to run a social media company, Twitter is work, working fine. When the billionaire who owns it tries to be hands on and puts his hands on everything, you see how shit turns out. And that, that's the end of it. That's the end of the video. That's the that's the end of the video.